Hello, my name is Phil Ayres, and on behalf of the paper co-authors G. U. N., Jack Young and Alison Grace Martin, I welcome you to the presentation of our paper entitled Meshing with Kagome Singularities, Topology Adjustment for Representing Weaves with Double Curvature. The paper focuses on the development of a mesh topology adjustment scheme that allows the interactive introduction of topological irregularities in regular planar or singly curved triangular meshes for the purpose of representing sparse Kagome weave patterns. The introduction of these topological irregularities is the necessary precursor to inducing double curvature in the weave system and follows clear principles as described in the literature. From these principles, we can define the task of the mesh topology adjustment scheme as providing the means for introducing local valence changes in regular planar or singly curved triangular meshes at specific vertex locations, whilst preserving regular valence 6 topology across all other vertices, with the exception of those on the boundary. This work is directly motivated by the absence of a method for accomplishing the task just stated. To briefly unpack a broader context of relevance, we're motivated by the fact that the principles underlying Kagome weave patterns embed design intelligence for achieving double curvature within the topology of the system rather than the geometry. The implication of this from a construction perspective is that double curvature can be achieved through the interlacing of straight strips of material, which has a profound impact on production when contrasted with approaches where material is cut to achieve doubly curved geometry. Of course, the key challenge with weaves is the translating of topological and interlacing principles into construction strategies that can allow a shift from baskets to architecturally scaled load-bearing structures. The novel approach shown here has recently been reported in the literature. Our mesh topology adjustment scheme provides a key contribution to this broader research effort by targeting workflow issues located in representation, design facilitation, and the instrumentalization of topological principles for interlaced triaxial systems. In relation to the state of the art of computational techniques for mesh topology adjustment, the aim of remeshing can be broadly described as seeking to improve or adjust attributes of an input mesh to better suit the requirements or constraints of the target task. This can generally be classified as being either a topological transformation task or a smoothing task. In general, mesh topology adjustment schemes aim towards the removal of irregularities rather than their introduction. In addition, the location and valence of these introduced topological changes is not underpinned by the topological principles of weave patterns. This means that if implemented in a physical weave, it would either require bespoke strip geometry to be cut, as in the case of the approach defined by Malos, or if using straight strips, curvature would be induced in different locations to that represented in the design mesh. We therefore state that, to the best of our knowledge, there exists a gap in digital representation methods for automated topology adjustment in regular triangular meshes to specifically produce double curved weave patterns that conform to Kagome principles and that are producible from straight strips of material. Let us now look at the mesh topology adjustment scheme. To accomplish topological adjustment within a given regular mesh, we employ the local mesh operation of edge flipping. 
However, as can be seen in this image, the flipping of an edge produces collateral and unwanted valence changes to linked vertices. Remembering our task definition, our aim is to introduce a single valence change at a specific vertex without surrounding adjustments. This can be accomplished by chasing the unwanted valence changes out to the mesh boundary within a constrained region. This principle holds for decreasing or increasing valence with an edge flip. In the top row we embed a valence 5 singularity, in the bottom row a valence 7. The principle can be extended to represent any valence in the set of practically weavable singularities, from 3 to 9, as can be seen here in our singularity zoo. Of course, from a design perspective, it becomes essential that multiple singularities can be introduced into a mesh. This is clearly possible in situations where the flip regions do not interact. But it is also possible in cases where flip regions interact. However, certain configurations of interacting flip regions produce undesirable results by changing the valence of previously introduced singularities, as shown in the cases here on the right. Another challenge occurs in local regions where repeated edge flips occur. This can lead to skinny faces or overlapped edges. These issues can be mitigated by planning the sequence of singularity introductions and by introducing them sequentially with an iterative mesh relaxation. This approach also allows for higher valence singularities to be achieved by iteratively flipping edges within the same flip region. A further issue can occur with the valence of the vertices close to the mesh boundary, as shown here. This is resolved by using the mesh face split operation to regain valence 6 consistency. Applying our mesh topology adjustment method in conjunction with these mitigation strategies allows for complex weave pattern topologies to be generated. As shown here with an array of valence 4s and 8s, the sequencing of the singularity introductions is shown at the top, the relaxation into geometry in the centre, and the physical weave for comparison is shown at the bottom. In this second case, the weave comprises an array of valence 7s and 5s. In subsequent work, our mesh topology adjustment scheme has found practical application in the design of weaves to be physically produced. It has also found application in the digital generation of weave families and the evaluation of their geometrical outcomes against specific environmental assessments. It has also been used to generate design targets for the generation of robotic path planning and automated production information. It has also been used to generate irregular topological grids for investigating the impact of grid features on the emergence of novel cellular automaton dynamics. 
In fact, our mesh topology adjustment scheme is a core design and representation tool for the EU-funded Fungal Architectures project, which seeks to integrate all of these applications in novel architectural constructions that combine living and computationally functionalized mycelium composites with Kagomi weaves. In summary, we have presented a mesh topology adjustment scheme that allows the interactive introduction of topological irregularities in regular or singly curved triangular meshes that embodies the topological principles underlying the representation of sparse Kagomi weave patterns. This work contributes a novel remeshing scheme for the precise specification of vertex location and valence change, without affecting the valence of other vertices. The scheme has found application beyond the representation of weaves, being used to generate specific irregularities in hex-based grids for computer science applications, such as running cellular automata. In terms of limits, where the principles of altering individual valences are established and automated, the selection of vertex and the generation of more complex designs is still reliant on human input and judgment. Topology adjustment also remains limited to application on meshes with naked edges, rather than fully closed meshes. We hope to address these open challenges in future work. In conclusion, we would like to acknowledge that this research has been partly funded by the European Union under the Future and Emerging Technology Research and Innovation Programme and the Project Fungal Architectures. Many thanks for your attention.